NBC7's What's Up is sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. I'm NBC7 Stephen Luke. This is your morning update for Friday, July 29th. Now, all lanes are back open this morning after a deadly car crash closed multiple lanes for several hours along the northbound 15. This was near Friars Road. At this hour, we know one person who was trapped in the vehicle that ran into that truck has died. But uh, again, all lanes are back open. Traffic is running as normal again. Starting this morning, homeless veterans will have their chance to get to all their services in one spot. It's the annual stand down event starting today, helping hundreds over the three day weekend here. The three day resource fair is a one stop shop for veterans who can get food, showers, a haircut, clean clothes and medical checkups. Local service providers also helping with housing, job placement and legal advice. This year, two nights of shelter also back. That service was canceled during the pandemic. Now veterans can have a safe spot to sleep for the weekend. San Diego County is getting a new tool to help fight COVID-19. It's the new vaccine called Novavax. So it was just cleared by the CDC last week, and it uses a more traditional protein-based technology, unlike the mRNA vaccines we've had so far. It's recommended for adults over the age of 18, administered in two doses, given three to eight weeks apart. Clinical trials show Novavax is 90% effective at preventing mild, moderate, and severe COVID-19, and it does not cause any severe side effects. It will be available for you at local health care providers, pharmacies, and clinics, as well as community vaccination events as soon as this weekend. Today is International Tiger Day, and the Lions, Tigers, and Bears Sanctuary is asking for your help to try and protect tigers all around the world. So you can donate for proper care and ask your local representative to support the Big Cat Public Safety Act. If passed, this act would end private possession of big cats in the U.S. City and state leaders are meeting in Balboa Park today, providing an update on the ongoing renovations to the iconic Botanical Building. That building has been closed to the public since January, undergoing some major renovations. City and state leaders granted $21 million in funding for the project. Since the closure, many plants inside have actually been moved to off-site nurseries. The project is expected to be done by December of next year. Coming up, we'll check in with Sheena and your first alert forecast. Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi works wherever you go at home. And thankfully, wherever they don't, get reliably fast Wi-Fi throughout your home with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. Hi there, MBC 7 meteorologist Sheena Parveen. For today, we're going to see a mix of clouds with some sunshine breaking through. These are our monsoonal clouds that have moved in, so it might feel a little bit more humid today, too. Mid 70s at the coast, mid 80s, and then the clouds will be back tonight. You'll see them tomorrow morning. Mountains and deserts could have just a slight chance for an isolated light shower. For the weekend, we'll be mostly in about the mid 70s at the coast. Some areas away from the coastline could be closer to 80. And over the weekend, we have just a very small chance of maybe an isolated shower. Sunday. Most of the coast will be dry. Most of the inland valleys will be dry, but it's something we'll be watching. Of course, pretty steady temperatures next week. Still looking pretty warm for the mountains. A chance of a shower in the afternoon, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Deserts too, Stephen. Sheena, thanks as always. Uh, you can catch us right here on NBC Channel 7 and uh, you can go to NBC7.com for all of your news 24-7. And uh, if you like podcasts, every single day of the week we have a new episode for you. It's called Today in San Diego. Find it wherever you get your podcasts.